Hello and welcome back to my channel, Emily's Creative Life. In today's video I make a card using an ombre stamping technique. So I'm starting out with a piece of my Cougar 110 pound cardstock cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I have stuck that in my stamp positioning tool and I'm using this uh, stamp by My Sentiments exactly from the stamp set Elephant Dream Big Silhouette. I will be using that big elephant in there. And I'm starting out with this Gina K Sea Glass ink and I will ink up the entire elephant with this color and stamp that down onto that cougar cardstock. As you can see, I did not get good coverage. I did not condition my stamp first, so here I go ahead and use my hand and condition that and make it so that it'll hold that ink better. And then I stamp it down a second time to get the coverage that I wanted. So when I am happy with that, I will come in with my next color, which is the Blue Lagoon, and cover the bottom two-thirds of the elephant with that. I'm using a paper towel to dab across the top of that ink line to soften it up a bit so that it'll blend into the lightest color better. And then I will wipe that off and come in with my third color and the darkest color, which is Tranquil Teal, and ink up the bottom third of the elephant and do that same thing with the paper towel to soften that edge so that it'll blend into the medium color. When I finish with that, I use my anti-static powder bag and place that over my paper and use some Versamark ink to stamp the elephant down one more time. And this time I will be using some Judikins Iridescent Sparkle Embossing Powder. I'm going to go ahead and heat set that with my Wagner heat gun. Now when I have finished with that, I'm using a piece of black cardstock and again my anti-static powder bag and some Versamark ink to stamp down a sentiment that says sending. I just did all of this while I had my heat gun out and I will be using some Hero Arts white embossing powder. And again, I will heat set that with my heat gun. And then I've got a stencil here. I'm not sure who it's from. I think it's Heidi Swap, but I'm not positive on that. And I will be using some Gina K Soft Stone ink and a blender brush to blend around the edges of that card panel. Not going onto the elephant so that it's got more of a white center around it. And I will remove that stencil and you can see the design that it left behind. When I'm happy with that, I go ahead and bring my tonic guillotine paper trimmer in and trim off a little bit off of all four sides of that panel. And then I'm using a die set by Momenta. It's an alphabet die set and I will die cut the words big hugs out of some black cardstock. So here I'm using my Tim Holtz craft ruler and I will be using the metal side of that and my craft knife to trim off the excess around that sentiment to make it a nice and narrow sentiment strip. So then I will take all of those letters that I die cut and I will line them up on my grid mat to get them as straight as possible. And then I've got a piece of post-it tape here that I use some scissors to cut in half and I will pick up those 
letters using that so that it would keep them straight where I wanted them. And here I'm just finding where I want them placed on the card panel. Then I will come in with some Hilmar liquid adhesive and then I will place that all over the back of these die cuts and then adhere those down onto the card panel. Then I will remove that post-it note tape and then I've got some Scotch 3M foam tape here that I am placing all over the back of that panel. And then my EK tool scoring board and another piece of that Cougar cardstock scored at four and a quarter inches for a landscape style top folding note card. I, course, I creased that using my Teflon bone folder and I am re removing that release paper from that foam tape and then I will adhere that onto the card base. And then I've got another piece of that um, scotch foam tape on the back of that sentiment and I use my T-score ruler to make sure that that's all lined up straight and I will adhere that down next to the rest of the sentiment and then some Distress Collage Medium in the matte finish and my wax pencil. And I will use those to adhere down some aqua blue iridescent gemstones and sequins. And then I've got my Wink of Stella clear glitter brush pen here that I will add over the Sentiment Big Hugs just to give it a little bit more sparkle. And that finishes the card. I love the ombre look that and how it turned out and those blues just work really nicely together so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i'll see you soon bye